So I'm Hans Christensen. I'm the director of the Nuclear Information Project at the Federation of American Scientists in Washington, D.C. Right, they asked me to come and talk about the status of nuclear forces, um, the, you know, how many, what kinds um, that NATO and Russia have and, um, in Europe, and um, you know, what's the progress, what's modernization going to do, what are the operations, and what's the progress for new arms control agreements or even status of the ones we have. Well, um, those numbers are secret on both sides, so what we do are sort of public estimates uh, based on non-classified information. Um, the best we can tell is that we think the Russians have on the order of about 2,000 uh, non-strategic nuclear warheads for their tactical delivery systems. And they include naval cruise missiles, torpedoes, um, land-based anti-air missile defense, um, short-range ballistic missiles, bombs for um, gravity bombs for uh, aircraft, fighter aircraft. Um, uh, so that's sort of a, a very broad range of capabilities. On the NATO-US side, um, they have a total of about 500 um, bombs, only one type, one B-61 type bomb. Um, and about 180 almost of those are in Europe, uh, deployed in uh, six, in, uh, six bases in five countries. Well, there have been nuclear weapons in Turkey, deployed in, in Turkey since the 1950s. So it's a very long deployment. Um, now it's down to one kind, gravity bombs. Um, and um, the things that have happened over the last you know, five plus years uh, with the war in Syria breaking out, you know, full-fledged war and the flow of terrorism uh, into Europe, um, what have you, and the open almost civil war uh, that you have in, in, in Turkey with an armed uprising from, from certain groups. Um, add to that the recent failed military coup. Um, and so you're having a situation now that is very precarious. It's uh, really an era, totally new dis situation for um, the, the base in Turkey, at Incilic, in southern Turkey, where the United States has um, up to about 50 uh, gravity bomb stored, um, and so the w another way to look around, look at it, is to say that if they didn't have nuclear weapons in Turkey today, would when somebody asked to do it, would the United States agree to put weapons in there under these circumstances? And I think the answer is quite clearly no. So I don't know how, when it's going to happen that they move it or whatever, but uh, it could also be that NATO bureaucracy manages to stop things from changing. Uh, who knows? But um, people I talked to in Washington, the military, they definitely would prefer if the weapons were not there, no doubt. It's really up in the air. I mean, right now, the prospect is very, very dim. Um, and uh, I mean, the trust is gone. That's the key issue here, the trust between the two sides. So I think it's, it's, it's more a matter of, right now, it's about making sure that those arms control treaties that are in place already, still continue to be in place. They're not abandoned. Uh, then we can begin to think about what kind of follow-on agreements are possible to make. But on those uh, other fronts, um, it's very, very quiet right now. So I wouldn't expect any um, miracles at this point.